Yo, what is up guys? So for today we're going to be talking about Destiny 2. Now specifically we're going to be looking at some weapons I've been meaning to review, which are the new playlist weapons. So the hand cannon for Crucible, the SMG for Gambit, and the grenade launcher for Vanguard. So first and foremost we're going to go through the hand cannon. But real quick, if you like these videos, if you enjoy them, let me know in the comments below, like the video, subscribe, it really does help me out because these videos are annoying to make and it would be very much, it would, it would, it would heal my soul if y'all let me know because uh, these are annoying. These are very annoying to do, so, but I do them because I like to do them and because I like to at least give you some information on some of the weapons you guys are grinding for, especially if you guys know or don't know that like the loot pool on this weapon alone and not like all of the playlist weapons are kind of fucking ridiculous but we'll get to that when we get to that so first and foremost survivor survivors epitaph i i think you say that is a precision frame which is, means it's a 180 uh which i don't think is as bad as i thought it was gonna be i actually think this hand cannon is pretty dope so let's look at all the perks real quick and then we'll talk about the hand cannon itself so first and foremost is gonna be tunnel vision heating up firmly planted quick draw surplus outlaw feeding frenzy vicious assassin killing wind slide shot subsistence and rapid hit for the first row for the second row it's gonna be moving target adrenaline junkie frenzy osmosis eye of the storm snapshot sights wellspring multi-kill clip thresh one for all high impact reserves and kill clip so evidently there's a lot of perks that you can get with this weapon uh because it's a 180 a lot of people are not going to give it uh a chance which is completely fair 180s are not like the strongest hand cannons uh ever like i don't think they've ever been really good uh aside from literally what is it uh luna's hell and not forgotten and those weren't even like preci real precision frames so like they weren't 180s is what i'm trying to say they were precision frames but they were like 150s and turn 140s if i remember correctly so i i like survivor I, I, at least i like the perk or the combination that i got like i like mine like let's just say that mine's pretty cool i have if i remember correctly ambitious assassin and uh multi kill clip if i remember correctly i have a few of these just on standby but that's the that's those are the roles that i like or that's the role that i got specifically i have another one with like ambitious assassin and frenzy uh rapid hit and kill clip like i have a few of these and for pve it's it's fun it's a fun hand cannon to use especially if you get something pretty cool i can see a lot of people going for like the subsistence and uh one for all unfortunately it doesn't have rampage which i think would have been the best choice because then people could have really gone buck wild with the subsistence and rampage role but i think one for all is a, a good role uh, don't get me wrong frenzy as well would be a pretty cool role um my only thing is like it's 180 uh you're not gonna really think too much of this hand cannon again like it's not like dog shit. it's definitely not bad it's just that why would you use this when you can use a 180, a 120, or I'm sorry, a 120, a 140? Uh, just 180s are just kind of like pathetic in my opinion. So I still like my role, don't get me wrong, but I definitely wouldn't use this in like any high end, like Nightfall, not in PvP ever. Like that being said, I probably would use it depending on what perks I get. I mean, you can get snapshot sites and quick draw on this i mean you could do that i don't see why you would but i mean you could for pvp i'd probably go for like tunnel vision heating up would be pretty cool um a killing wind would probably be the one that i want i would want to go for the most and for the last scroll multi-kill clip kill clip uh yeah, there's a lot. There's a few good things you can get on this. I think heating up. Which one is this? Final blood? No, not this one. Reloading after defeating a target greatly increases target acquisition and aim down sight speed for a, for a short duration. I think so. Tunnel vision with kill clip, I think would be like the best role to combine with these two, uh, especially if you're on controller. That uh, target acquisition is going to be pretty cool. The aim down sight is also pretty cool as well. On top of getting um, more damage with kill clip. Again, I just the 
it's the fact that the pool is this big that I was just kind of like, I why would you? Well, why would I ever farm this when I'm literally trying to get a triple tap and Vorpal weapon for the sniper for that playlist? So for me, Survivor's Epitaph is probably not the strongest, but I will say I like it better than Empty Vessel, which we'll get to later. So next one is gonna be Borrowed Time. It is an aggressive frame SMG, and this one is okay. <laughs> not my favorite as well unfortunately the playlist weapons this season have not been like my thing which sucks because i love smgs but let's look at the perks real quick so fourth time's a charm overflow threat detector feeding frenzy heating up tunnel vision range finder grave robber killing wind firmly planted surplus and dynamic soy reduction for the first row. For the second row, it's gonna be Dragonfly, Frenzy, Wellspring, Demolitionist, Swashbuckler, One For All, Rampage, Surrounded, Adrenaline Junkie, Thresh, Snapshot Sights, and Tap the Trigger. So my issue with this weapon, and really my issue with SMGs in ov overall, is the fact that the standard magazine for SMGs are pathetic. They're pathetic. If we're talking about PvP, 26 rounds in this is is laughable. Like you might get you might get that kill if you you hit all your shots. And I know people are gonna be well, of course, like you don't you have to hit all your shots. But for me, I like it a little wiggle room just in case I miss my shots because you know I'm not perfect. So for me, like I I much prefer SMGs that like have more than 30 rounds in the chamber. So like. For example, Mita Multi Tool is like a prime example because it has 41 rounds after you give it like the backup mag and whatnot, but it still has 40 rounds so that way you can feel comfortable in the fact that like you may miss some, but at the end of the day you won't like n just miss one shot and not hit your highest DPS. Same thing with uh, Stochastic Variable which I still haven't done videos on, but it's the future war cult for smg from this season it has 40 rounds in the magazine as well and it's amazing i love it like again if if it had more than if it had more than that i'd be okay with it but it's the fact that smgs have a taper like you can't go higher than so and so especially on which frame it is so for example if i have the borrow time that i'm currently holding right now that has dependent mag it just goes up to two bullets and if I add another backup mag to it then it just gives me I think either one or two more bullets so, the, so in the long run like a pendant mag light mag any anything that gives you more ammo is just kind of like detrimental because it only gives you one to two ammo like literally one to two bullets so like I would love it if it wasn't like that like I get it aggressives are high damage but at the same time they're not that high damage that literally it, okay again me personally i just don't like smgs that have really small magazine sizes because it just it makes it more annoying in the long run uh don't get me wrong you can get like uh, honestly if i had overflow on mine i probably would not care too much because at that point i'd be getting a 40 but that i would have to get that from literally getting a special which in pvp is not that hard but i don't want to I don't want to crutch on a on a perk on my weapon to give me the like the ease of like okay I can use this like comfortably now I don't care if it does more damage it's the fact that I only have like lower than 30 rounds in, in the magazine that's like what kills my soul about this SMG like there's this SMG called escape velocity I love that SMG. It's one of my favorite SMGs, and I probably won't ever switch it out for aggress for this one because it's just why would I? Don't get me wrong. Uh, borrowed time is not on the primary slot, so I could have both those SMGs, but borrowed time is just a weaker version of Mita Multi Tool in my eyes. Again, if I get like Overflow and like Rampage, different story. I'll definitely use it, but again the fact that i'm going to be treating overflow like 
basically my crutch. I'm, I'm going to have, I, I don't know. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I just personally don't like SMGs that at least don't have 40, like that I can't hit 40. If I can hit 40, I'm okay. I usually like farm the shit out of it so I can hit the 40. But if I can't, I minimum, I at least want to say like around 32 to 34. That way I can like feel comfortable at losing some shots. But with the current one that I have right now, I have uh, Feeding Frenzy and Swashbuckler. It just does not feel good reloading after every encounter. And I mean like literally one enemy, I have to reload again. One enemy, I have to reload again. Uh, it might be a different story once I get Swashbuckler at like times four or five, whatever it goes up to. Yeah, because then at that point, I could probably kill enemies like two three enemies without reloading but at that point like you have to i don't know i'm just not the biggest fan of this smg like if it was a lightweight different story i could i could hit get it up to 40 and i'm already getting that boost in speed for aggressive it's just like high damage and high recoil plus low magazine and the reload speed is not even that high like why would i even fucking waste my time at that point like at least the lightweights give me a speed a speed boost <coughs> a bigger magazine size and stats are all, all around better so for again in this case the aggressive frames and smgs are just kind of like dog shit in my opinion uh last but not least empty vessel so this one mm, i don't really care about it to be quite honest um so let's talk about it before i start fucking saying why i'm dumb not the biggest fan empty vessel it's a legendary uh grenade launcher it's a solar energy launcher so you know there that is and it is a one shot essentially uh you shoot it and then you reload that's it the perks on it are just generic the, you, the things you expect from a grenade launcher so auto loading holster threat detector ambitious assassin quick draw surplus genesis feeding frenzy lead from gold field prep and underdog for the first row for the second row it's going to be disruption break grenade, uh, demolitionist vorpal weapon one for all multi-kill clip unrelenting snapshot sites danger zone swashbuckler and thresh so for me i just don't really care about this one mostly because like they've already given us really good grenade launchers like already like salvager salvo let's not act like salvager salvo is not like the best grenade launcher right now currently it already gives us like three out of the 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 many perks that you can get from empty va va vessel which is you can get ambitious assassin and demolitionist for one row and then vorpal weapon for the other and then chain reaction if you want to use that this one i don't know man like it has a lot to fight against not only that we're already getting spike grenades from this one so salvager salvo is literally this just better uh the only difference is salvager salvo is arc if i remember correctly and <clears throat> empty vessel is solar so i mean if you need a solar uh grenade launcher for some whatever reason then you could probably do ambitious assassin and vorpal weapon for pve uh for pvp you could probably do like uh i don't know quick draw and demolitionist would probably be pretty cool unless you you're really good with grenade launchers then ambitious assassin and demolitionist would probably be something you would really like considering that demolitionist might actually proc ambitious assassin because if you don't know demolitionist once you throw your grenade uh you reload the weapon that you have from reserves so that would be pretty cool if it works if it doesn't that's unfortunate but overall the playlist weapons are just kind of like whatever quite honestly with like empty vessel or yeah empty vessel being like the weakest one borrowed time being like kind of like the most useless one to me and then survivor's epitaph being the most fun but because it's a 180 not a lot of people are going to give it the time of day because again it's a 180 it's not the best archetype in the game and at, it's just yeah like stop giving us shitty fucking archetypes bro i'm tired of it jesus but yeah let me know your thoughts in the comments below if you guys want to follow me on my social media i'll link to in the description below again uh if you like the video let me know i it really does help me especially like it really helps me push forward to make these type of videos because i do like making these videos because uh I know there's a lot of people that don't go out of the out of their way to like look up uh like like gg like seeing like what what perks and stuff but i do know people would go on youtube and like just look this up through a youtuber so if that's if that person is me to you i appreciate it but other than that i'll see you guys later